Hello, everyone. And welcome to a very, very well-deserved Saturday. It's been a week. I feel like I say that every week. For Ryan, it has. I think my week's been okay, except puppy puppy stuff. Oh, my keeping gosh. Keeping me up and making me Will. tired. He's adorable. Would you like to share why did you have such a week? You, all, I feel like you always are like, oh, it's been a week, it's and then you don't week. really divulge it's what makes It's just middle schoolers, it man. It's just kids, and we're getting to the point where, like, kids are ready to go to summer, I'm ready to go to summer, and everybody's kind of just like, we haven't thrown in the towel yet, but, like, we don't have a firm grasp on that towel anymore. Yeah. Like, we really don't. <laughs> and we have to do clay. And we had to do testing this week, which is fine, but they cut the exploratory time instead of the class time, which I think is a little irritating, because why would you make them sit through two hours of testing in the morning and then a 52-minute regular class period? But I digress. Um, so it was very packed, and next week is going to be, like, play on hyperspeed, and I hate teaching clay. But our little anyway. getaway in the middle of the week was really, really, oh, really, my. really nice. This year, with getting the house nice and getting the puppy, you guys might know, usually around my birthday, we go to Chicago, mm -hmm. and then in the summer, we actually usually go, just the two of us, up north for, like, a long weekend. And with the puppy and with the house, we can't do either of those. We can't even, like, push them off. Like, it's just not gonna work this year. <laughs> it's fine. Which we... is depressing and also takes away some, like, of our very little amount of vacation time. But it's worth it, obviously, mm -hmm. just yeah. to bite the bullet this one year and get all this like actual important very mm -hmm. time consuming stuff done yeah but that's why like having a little single day trip like that was just like a huge oh my god breath. it was like if i could do that every day i know and, like every week <laughs> or just for wonderful. like four days in a row literally yeah. oh. anyways what we're here to talk about is what sold saturday and sales though well and youtube stuff last week we had the family bins bash that you all seem to really love all of us had a blast as well and then on thursday we had the thrift haul mm -hmm. from said bins bash all of my stuff, by the time you're seeing this, probably almost all of it's listed. Ryan hasn't even started taking pictures because it's no. been a week. No. Did let me let Will Small in. little yip. No, it is not one of those toys from the mall kiosk. He's just harassing Mike. And, and the gang's all here. Everybody's here. So <laughs> two, two dogs in the room now. Hi. So if you hear any noises. Hi, sweetie. That's why. It's these two. They are getting more acquainted with each other, thankfully. But Mike is still just like ever the slightest little bit territorial. A little annoyed. It's very much like sibling, like older, younger sibling of like, ugh. Stacy, don't pull my hair. You're like, oh my god, mom, that's mine. Okay. Oh, oh. Y'all, papas are working. I have to work. Get out of here. <laughs> um. <laughs> This is what life has been like for us yes. for the past two weeks. Yes. It's wonderful, but it's extremely tiring, yes. but that's okay. As I was saying, okay, so Ryan hasn't taken pictures of his stuff, mm -mm. blah, blah, blah. Next week on the channel, what we have is another very exciting kind of like thrift with us, but once again, we're spinning it, we're twisting it, we're changing yes. it. And we're gonna do something that's been requested many, many times for yes. a long time. I'm very excited. Source with us at consignment stores. And we're only gonna go to consignment stores. I think we're gonna go to three. They're all gonna be turnstiles, which mm -hmm. we've talked about a number of times. We'll dive into more information on that Love in the actual style. video. But that's coming up on Tuesday, a source with us at Arbitrage Locations. Mm -hmm. And then coming up on Thursday is going to be the Battle of the Boxes. So this is our second thread up video. This one, we both ordered the exact same box and they were more expensive and each item itself is quite a bigger investment. Yes. So this is a more mm -hmm. kind of like gambly one. Yes, it absolutely And is. we're really excited to show you guys that one. Do you think it paid off? Watch and find yeah. out. And yeah. tell me. I'll just describe it as surprising. I'm not going to say good or bad, but surprising, surprising is a very applicable word. Very mm -hmm. surprising. Yes, it is. Anyways, now let's actually jump into the sales. And this week covers the 6th through the 12th. And I had two Mercari that I'm going to say before my Poshmark ones, or else it's all just posh for me. I had a couple of Depop sales this week, but they were really nothing to write home about. Just basic little Y2K tank tops. <laughs> nothing crazy. And of course, before that, though, we would love to highlight our wonderful, magnificent Valentine VIP of the week. Da, 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 da. And this week, our Valentine VIP is Rita. So hello, Rita, and thank you very much for being a Valentine on our channel. Her username is metermaid72, but it's spelled with a D. So I love that. E-D-E-R-M-A-I-D 72. So here's Rita's closet. Everybody go check her out. Give her a little nice comment. Give yeah. her some shares. Her closet will be the first link below. So thank you again, Rita, for being a Valentine, and thank you much to all of our Valentines. We really appreciate your support. Anyways, yes. I'm gonna do my Mercari for 
first, and then we're gonna jump in to Posh. When did Flo I feel like I have not had a Mercari sale or listed anything in Mercari <laughs> in, I think, older than Will. Guaranteed <laughs> older than Will. So my first Mercari sale was this Marc Jacobs nylon zip flap crossbody. This thing was in like great shape, and mm -hmm. it's the new Mark where he doesn't use Mark by Mark and stuff anymore. There was just a lot of fraying along the whole crossbody, so like a bunch of people had thrown it back, and I was like, that's one of the easiest you things to You just burn them off. So sure enough, I did, and I listed it, and it sold in Mercari for $46. So yeah. everybody sleeping on it and leaving it in the bins missed out on that good, like, $40, 40 bucks. sale. Yeah. <laughs> and then I also sold this Abercrombie & Fitch wool blend open coat. I got Ooh. this for, like, $5.99 or $6.99 in the winter at, like, a random Goodwill. It just seemed, like, really nice. So I got mm -hmm. it. And it was, like, right when I was, like, kind of starting to dabble in some Abercrombie. Dipping the toe into the Abercrombie. And it paid off because this sold for 43 on Mercari, which means I will get like upper 30s, which is oh, fan freaking fantastic. So, nice. so moving on to Poshmark, I definitely started off the week super, super strong. It was really, really good because on the 6th, I didn't have any sales. Funny enough, I only had one sale on the 6th and it got returned. <laughs> so word to the wiser, and this is what I'll tell people, when you list Kurt Geiger's shoes, double check what the size on the bottom equates to. Oh, is it like you, your size. size? I listed them as a size 10. 10 was the number on the bottom of the shoe. Hmm. Is it like an ASOS situation? Yeah, yeah. it would have been a $100 sale. So Kurt Geiger but, and ASOS, and there's some other ones that have like just really weird Double sizing. check the sizing. Gucci is UK, so if mm -hmm. it says it's like a men's 10, it's actually like an 11. And then Prada's the, the same up. way. Mm -hmm. There's like, you just gotta, especially with the men's. Yeah. Definitely check on the men's mm -hmm. from like other countries. Ryan's, Either way. Ryan's little PSA of the day, we need like the little like bitmoji to pop <laughs> up in the corner. <laughs> Double check your sizing when you're listing expensive European shoes. European men's shoes. I guess we'll just move on to the seventh then. So on the seventh, I had two. I had three. My first sale was this Nasty Gal. Nasty Gal. Nasty Houndstooth gal. Oversized Tailored Blazer. This sold for 25 I get 20 That was a bins fine, but it sold in under 12 hours. Wonderful. It sold super quick. Then I sold this vintage Y2K little tank top. A little Y2K tank top. Floral embroidered lace tank top. Oh. Very, very cottage core. And mm -hmm. it was that popular brown color and it was actually anthropology and it was actually new with tags like the old square big old that looks like the tag. three people one oh, that was so yeah. fun so this only sold for 19 and i get 13 18 i actually had given it to ryan to sell because i'd given up on it and then it sold so i stole it i had it listed for 35 dollars and it was i think i did well. too but whatever <laughs> okay my first on the seventh was this pair of chacos and oh it feels so wonderful hey mike to say that i sold a pair of chacos the black white ZX2 classic. The ZX2 are the ones that have like the multiple straps that go across the toes and the ZX plane is just like the single strap is what somebody that works at a Chaco store told me. Thank you. They sold for $40 minus a shipping discount. These were a bins find and I make $29.02. My next on the 7th, I sold a lot of shoes this week for some reason. My next on nice. the 7th was this pair of Anthropology Dolce Vita Cream, the Piranha or the Piranha. Some kind of really cute little white mule sold for $40. I will make $32. Then I sold a pair of boots from my own personal collection. These were adorable and they were very in season. It was this pair of Calvin Klein. The Calvin Klein, like, C -W -W dot y 2 k whatever the, like, You held is. up your hand to, like, make the C and Mike also held up his hand. Thank you. And I bought these for my graduation when I graduated from college. But they do kind of hurt my feet. So, like, when I'm in a classroom, like, I'm not going to be wearing cowboy boots that hurt my feet. Yeah. Um, they sold for $100, which I think is more than I paid for them, which is nice. And I will make 80 80 Then on the 8th, I had two once again. I had three. My first sale was this Peter Millar Summer Comfort Purple Golf Polo. Sold for 31 and I get 21 82 I have not listed my other one yet, but this one sold really quick, so that's great. Then, this was actually a really good Ooh. sale and surprising, though I had this marked much, 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 much higher. So it was this Valentino Red. It was red by Valentino. Lace embroidered palm tropical dress. This sold for 175 and I get 140 I will say I had it listed at like the upper 400s like between 450 and 5 but I'd had it for a while mm -hmm. so I was like mm. 
Just take it away. <laughs> get it out of my house. Yes, so if, <sighs> did I say? It sold for, yeah, 175, I get 140. Okay, my first on the eighth was another pair of shoes. A pair of Weegens Willow Red Velvet Little Penny Loafers. These were adorable. Sold for $40, I make 29.02. Then I sold this Coach Black Sea Brass Buckle 38 millimeter belt. This was mine. I do much prefer to wear, I have a brown Gucci belt that I bought on Poshmark and it is one of my absolute favorite things I've ever bought on that app ever, but I did need two of them. So this one sold for full price for $70. And I think I bought this on Black Friday for like 30 bucks, mm -hmm. which like, that. good deal. So for 60, which is nice, double my money. And then my last on the eighth is a good old bread and butter was this Lug Mini Puddle Jumper Convertible Satchel. This was a new one. The new ones, I think, come in like like not as tacky colors, like the teal and that purple and that kind of like pink, like they mm. are a little bit more sought after. This one sold for $38. I will make $30, $40. Then on the 9th, I had four. I had four too. My first sale, this sold really, really oh, quick. Oh, this was cute. Was this Free People Rare Kryptonite Rock Candy Open Cardigan? It sold for 100 and I get 80 And this was from a little bin strip that I think I just like did alone. I didn't find a ton, but I found like a handful of You did good find stuff. some really good stuff. I got almost like a laundry basket worth of like pretty good stuff, including this. And I spent almost nothing on the whole trip, like 60. So I already made more than my money back with this one. I, I love those bitch trips. I know. When you sell one thing and you're already in the green for the whole thing. Yeah. Oh. That's like my goal with bitch trips now is ones just like that, where it's like maybe a TJ's bag of stuff for me to sell that's like rock solid. Oh, super good. Two or no three regrets. items get you Not all your money back. Not gonna end up donating mm -hmm. anything back. Then I sold this Athleta on par golf tennis polo top. I was actually about to consign this, so I dropped it down to twenty, and somebody snatched it. So it sold for twenty, and I get sixteen. Then this was really odd. So I sold these Moschino gold logo strappy slingback heels. These I had listed at like four sixty five. Early in the week, somebody sent me an offer of like one ninety eight. Hmm. And I've had these for a really long time and obviously I have a lot of bougie shoes. So I was like, sure. <laughs> Sure, sure, okay. sure. So I accepted sure, Jan. Sure, Jan. So I accepted it and their payment got declined. And I told them that and they said they'd fix it and they did not. Then wah, two wah. days later, I get an offer on it for two hundred. And I thought it'd be the same person. Twas not. So I accept it and their payment got declined. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, somebody just take these shoes for somewhere right around $200, oh, please. God. I hate so, that. So. I left the message again for this person, like, your payment didn't go through, it hey. could just be billing address, but if you update it, it's gonna go through. They also said I will, and then they disappeared for two days, but then they did fix it, and I was like, oh my gosh, get these What out. a roller coaster. So I, like, ran to the storage unit, I was like, ship them, get them get out of here. Get out of my get life out of my house. for the rest of- oh, Get out mm -mm. of here! Get out of here! So so I get 160 after like battling for my life. <laughs> what is SpongeBob yell at the horse? And then, get out of here, you get out of here, you animal. filthy animal. And it's Patrick with a board nailed to his head. I can't keep you anymore. You belong in the wild. <laughs> can't you see I don't watch anymore? Just get out of here, you stupid dumb animal. <laughs> and last on the ninth is another thing I've actually had for quite a while. It was this Sundance boho floral lace detail dress. Sold for 32, I get 25, 60. But again, I've had it for a while, so it was really nice to get rid of that mm -hmm. for like not taking pennies. Like yeah. I didn't have to sell for like 18 or 20. Exactly. My first on the ninth was funny enough a Sundance. Thing. Was this really cute? Could little... you imagine you're like, it's the exact same pair of red mosquitoes, but somebody offered me 780. And but it went I sold right mine away. for $1,599.99. And there was cents. no payment dispute. She lived um, right down the block. She walked over. She picked she it up. She said, Oh, she waited me you know right what? Away. Fiddly sticks. I bought them in the wrong size. Just keep them. She asked if she could tip me, and she did. So, yeah, too she bad. She brought me into her will. I feel bad for you with your I feel bad for you. No, no, no I, do. Now, I do. People shouldn't be doing that to people. <laughs> How many degrees of separation did we go from mosquito shoots to complete battling insanity? <laughs> Me after a week with middle schoolers. Yeah. Well, I'm being chewed on by a little dog. <laughs> no. And another little dog is staring at me and like trying to not, trying fall, to asleep. not fall asleep. You're not doing a very good job, though. That's what makes like little brother tires us all out. Okay, my first of the night was another Sundance item. This was a newer piece, which I was so excited to find that I found when we did our little Goodwill trip with us a couple Just weeks recently? ago. Mm -hmm. mm. Pair of Sundance multicolored floral high waisted shorts. These were seven bucks at Goodwill. I listed them at forty. It got an offer of thirty two. A couple days after I posted them, twenty five sixty. I think like eighteen bucks is pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. Especially Sundance for, like, isn't like under a week as as hot 
anymore mm -hmm. but it definitely still it's a really good. good bread and butter it's kind of like free people like it's yeah. definitely not as hot but, but there like, are still pieces does. that do like phenomenally well yeah. yes okay next up for me i thought for sure this was going to be a depop sale and it was a poshmark sale it was this anthropology y2k twee green corduroy skirt i believe the brand was sit well or sits mm. well so, like oh. that older anthropology label i think i just speaking of the when we went to goodwill the bougie goodwills <laughs> I showed a sit well tag when I was in the like jackets. I didn't pick it up, but yeah. It's older. Old, I found this in the bins anthrop. and I love the color and I thought it was one of those like cute kind of like newer girly skirts. And I thought it would be cute if somebody like shortened it a little bit. Um, it sold for $22. I will make $17.60. But like a bin's fine, easy peasy. Mm -hmm. Then I sold this the Mountain 90s cat purple tie-dye t-shirt. This sold for $24. I will make $19.20. This was from my own personal collection. Believe it or not, I had like three of these and I don't need three of them. <laughs> I do not see. Yeah, Ryan's really. just going through his closet and he's like, well, there's four of them. I was literally, I was like, why do I have, I think I counted like 15 the Mountain t shirts. <laughs> who am I? Not surprising. Like, who is that person that has 15 different animal faces plastered <laughs> on 15 different times? I'm in a tie dye t shirt today. Oh no. I think worse. when you have like struggles in life, they like pick, they pop up <laughs> to you. And they like speak just... to you. It's just like this Bigfoot head just when appears. And they're I, like, Ryan, when we were in like, Ryan, don't make that decision and when we couldn't like leave the house and those like really couple of like random moments before we could like like actually got shut down and we could like go to google i found like 10 of them and i had so many of them and that's yeah. all that i wore when we couldn't go anywhere this one sold for 19 dollars 24 dollars on like 1920 and then my last on the ninth was definitely like a sale that i thought i could get a little bit more for but like no nah. it was another bins find it was this amo or ammo which is a really expensive jean company and donnie who i'd never heard of dark wash denim it was this really cute like cropped kind of like smock jacket with these little pearl buttons sold for 35 dollars. i will make 280 ammo is really expensive new but like i don't know it's not as popular i think anymore. it's like legence where like the style is like really big if it's gonna like Make you a lot of money. All he wants to do is chew on his pop socket. my pop socket, which is fine because I have like four more. But then he starts to chew the case, and I'm like, no, no, you can have the pop socket. And these are the battles we fight every day. <laughs> okay, so then on the 10th, I had three. I didn't have any. My first on the 10th was this pair of Icebreaker Merino Wool Vista hiking pants, bringing up the bougie thrifting again at yes. Goodwill. That's oh, where this was from. Love. So this sold within like two weeks. For 42 and I get 33.60, I love Icebreaker. Mm -hmm. And now I've confirmed that I like any Icebreaker piece because I was a little like, I don't know about like khakis from them. But I feel nope, like they sold people great. that like work outdoors or like with... <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> Then, kind of like turning the page, flipping it around, spinning it around, kind of changing up the oh, the market and the the buyer. Oh, Lord, I sold this seen. pair of Chanel quilted strappy black heeled uh, leather sandals, I think my whole title was. These sold for $500 and I get $400. You were the only person who's just like, yeah, this little so $500 sale in the middle of my week. So that's fantastic. Like, that oh, definitely Lord. helped out. And then Heidi popped in and she helped out Hi, my week Heidi. as well. So thank you very much, Heidi. Heidi got a really cute bundle of this Athleta Cashmere Camino split back open cardigan, coach swagger turnlock leather wristlet crossbody, and anthropology pilcro star embroidered. Ooh. Slim boyfriend jeans. Those are such cute Super jeans. Cute. I know I love those jeans. These sold to her for 130 and I get 104 So thank you very much, Heidi. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Heidi. Then on the 11th, I had one. I had two. My one and only was actually pretty good, so I'm not like that mad. Mm -hmm. It was this pair of Isabel Morant Villardo Fuchsia Velvet Belted Pants. These sold for 142 and I get 113.60. Isabel Morant pants can go for like a lot. They can go for if a If they're time. really cute, mm -hmm. or like I've had corduroy ones, I've, like if they're cuter colors, cuter styles, they yeah. like, can get you a shocking amount for pants. Yes. Okay, my first on the 11th was another pair of pants. It was this pair of Levi's Baggy Dad Blue Denim Distressed Jeans. These were from my own personal collection. I just really wasn't a new fan of... <gasps> Well, say goodbye to my case. I guess he can chew the case now. Well. No manners. You little fart knocker. You better make a sale so that I can go buy a new case with that money. Anyway. Because <laughs> he continues to just ruin it. <laughs> anyway, my <laughs> personally anyway. love. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, was this pair of Levi's Baggy Dad blue denim distressed jeans. I just really wasn't a fan of how I looked in them anymore, which is fine. And I have some like other jeans that I'm a huge fan of and I just want to get and more And that's also like the most popular style right now. Yes. So easy sale. Mm -hmm. They sold for $60 and I will make 40 dollars 
And then my last on the 11th was this revised denim, Gemini, different views, a pair of boyfriend jeans. These were, I think, a Plato's closet find from Speaking of Up North when we went last year, maybe like over last summer, and we stopped at that Plato's closet on the way out. Either way, they sold for $50 and I will make 40. Then on the last day of what's on Saturday, the 12th, I had three once again. I didn't have any. And my first sale was this pair of Zadig and Voltaire Ava Zip Accent Slim Jeans. These sold for 45 and I get 36 This was that, like, random week where I found two pairs of Zadig jeans. Oh, in yeah. The mm -hmm. And I've, like, never found Zadig thrifting almost ever. So no. that was odd. Then I sold this pair of Freebird Nola Patrick Leather Color Block Mules for 65 and I get 52 Ooh. This was also from when I randomly found two pair of Freebirds <laughs> in the bins on one day. I also never find those, so that was really weird. Weird that too. was a good day for you though. Yeah. It was, was a very good day for you. And then last, I sold this pair of Aritzia Wilfred paper bag waist tied belted pants. And these sold for 40 and I get 32. I think I had them listed at 65, but I had That's no model picture and they have this like you can see it, but like this like neon almost green, which I feel like probably takes the right person. So it definitely I was does. okay to get 40. Mm -hmm. That wasn't that bad. So my gross for the week was 1,566. Mine was 557. And my... What are you doing? My... Was... 1,252 and 80 cents. Mine was 445 and 60 cents. Make sure you just kiss the hands of your father. Oh. I hope you guys enjoyed this very hectic, very puppy feel. This was a very like- What's well, old Saturday day? Very, very cryptic? Chaotic. Cryptic. The word. It's very cryptic. Is there's very a cryptic. lot of very there's hidden a lot of messaging. Clues there's in hidden here. messaging in this. Chaotic. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the words are not before you think. This is very cryptic. This is a very cryptic. Something was very cryptic about this. <laughs> <laughs> so I know they're trying to give up some. I messages. know they're trying to tell me something. <laughs> they are Illuminati puppets. Yeah, they and are that was messaging just, something. That was it though. They were like, they slipped up. It's true. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> we will see you guys on Tuesday for our amazing, fantastic, fun source with us at Turnstiles. Very we're excited. Gonna, we're gonna go to three of them, and two of them are actually in quite bougie areas yes. again so mm -hmm. it's it is almost kind of like another bougie sourcing situation and then on thursday we're gonna have the battle of the boxes which we're super pumped about we did already film that if you couldn't tell by the beginning mm -hmm. but it again is surprising it was very surprising yes surprising yes, it surprising was. surprising expensive and surprising yes mm -hmm. so wish us luck when we go sourcing we're gonna do that on sunday but you'll see it on tuesday and we will see you guys tuesday let us know how yes, your week of sales was Goodbye. Goodbye.